Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about theoretical approaches to probability. Today in this video, we will study probability with the help of coins. So, let's understand this with the help of an example. Both Naman and Sachin want to play video games. But the problem before them is, who should play the game first? They decide to make this decision by tossing a coin. And decided that Naman will start the game if the outcome is head and Sachin will start the game if the outcome is tail. But Sachin wants to know if doing so is a fair decision. So, let's first look at the outcomes when the coin is tossed. As you can see, when the coin is tossed, it gives only two possible results, which will be either the head or the tail. But now the question is, what is the probability of getting the tail? Let's see. As we know that tossing a coin gives two possible results, out of which there is only one possibility of tail. As the probability of event, which is denoted by E, is equal to the numbers of favourable outcomes of the event upon the numbers of all possible outcomes. Therefore, we can say that the probability of getting a tail will be 1 by 2. So, can you now find the probability of getting a head? Yes. According to the above statement, the probability of head will also be 1 by 2 since the total number of results is 2 and the possibility of head is only 1. Sachin and Naman were discussing that. Meanwhile, their friend Monu comes. He too wanted to play video games. Due to which the same problem arises between them. Who will start the game first? We have seen that only two results are obtained from a coin. So this time they think of making decisions by tossing two coins. Monu says that if exactly one tail comes, he will start the game. Sachin says that if two tails come, then he will start. While Naman says if two heads come, then he will play first. Then, can you tell who will start the game first? Here, you can see that some possible results are obtained when both coins are tossed together. Let's first write down all possible outcomes. Head on first coin, head on second coin. Head on first coin, tail on second coin. Tail on first coin, head on second coin. Tail on first coin, tail on second coin. Therefore, we can say that a total of four outcomes are obtained by tossing two coins. Where, using the formula of probability, we can say that the probability of two heads coming together is 1 by 4. And the probability of two tails coming together is also 1 by 4. While the probability of exactly one tail appearing is 2 by 4. Which is the highest among these three? So, from the results obtained, we can say that Monu might get to play first. But Naman is not happy with this and asks to take the decision by tossing three coins instead of two coins, which we will see in the next video. In this video, we discussed the probability obtained by tossing one coin and two coins. In the next video, we will find the probability obtained by tossing three coins.